Hi Pisces, welcome to your January singles reading. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Your new welcome returning, thank you so much for coming back. So Pisces, this is intended for singles, so you do have to be single in some way. You could be separated or not together at this time, or whatever your situation is, as long as you are single. Or you could be totally single and wondering, when am I going to have somebody come into my life? So we're going to see what we're going to get here. Um, if you do feel you have a connection with somebody, I also do a love connection reading. If you're not familiar with my channel, you can check the description box below. Find the uh, Pisces love playlist. Go to um, the love connection reading and you'll see uh, those readings there. And maybe they'll resonate for you also. So you're welcome to watch both. Um, you can check description box below tons of stuff down there uh, personal reading information decks i'm using social media tons of stuff down there please do uh go check it out if you feel all right pisces so i hope everybody's doing well welcome in welcome in hope you had a wonderful christmas and a, have a happy new year so let's see we're going to look at uh possible energy of the person coming into you now if you have seen my past singles reading i'm doing this different so do leave me a comment below if you have seen my um, November, December singles readings. Again, you'll find those in the playlist below if you haven't. You can let me know um, what style you like better. I thought this would be a little bit different and uh, kind of fun. So you can let me know what you think. So we have um, Leo here, possible signs. And we have Mercury, which is Gemini. Mercury is all about truth, clarity, the mind, ideas. Uh, communication, honesty, that kind of energy. So let's see. Let's see how that plays into your reading. All right, so we got Leo and Gemini for you, Pisces. All right, so what I'm going to do first is get like an opening energy. This energy could be your current energy. It could be the current energy of the person, other person, whoever they may be, whether you know them or not, somebody new, or it could be possible mutual energy between the two of you. So I'm just going to get an open an energy here, see what comes out. So let's see. Oh, that's two. I just want one. Oh, there we go. So we have a jewel within a teardrop, which is uh, 10. Tens are about endings and there's a new beginning appreciation spiritual and emotional reconnection so this is finding like reconnection i feel like like appreciating something and then um it's like emotional reconnection so possibly may have gone through something but you know out of the bad you appreciate the good and you have like um a spiritual and emotional reconnection with yourself with those around you if you've been kind of like down and out and not feeling yourself, it's like feeling yourself again and reconnecting with everything around you again in your inner self, your true self, and having that connection once again. So that could be your energy. It could be the other person's energy. It could be a mutual energy. I don't know. We'll see. So let's get, I'm going to pull an energy and put it over here and one over here. And we'll pull more tarot around that energy. Then we'll see how the energies will come together. Once the energies come together, how the energies play out after that. So it'll be kind of interesting here. So I would say if you resonate with one side, pick a side. If you find that nothing is resonating, then it may not be your reading this month. All right, feeling this one here, that one there. So let's see what we have on this side. We have Sacred Earth Mother, a message of love, 42 with six. Six is very healing balancing number i just had this card come out for um virgo hmm. okay and i don't know uh pisces didn't come out for virgo so but anyway yeah sacred connection there and on that side we have reflection illusion self-examination and distortion and we have 13 which is four and four is about basis foundation security you know being stable Hmm. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom here. We have Perception Beyond the Veil of Illusion, 39, which is 12, which is 3, which is about working together, teamwork, collaboration. So, you no, know, perception is how you see things beyond the veil of illusion. So looking beyond what you see, things may not be what they seem. 
It's how you perceive things, what you perceive them to be. And sometimes it's not really what it is. So, hmm, I don't know what's going on here, uh, Pisces. I feel like, again, because over here we have spiritual and emotional reconnection. And over here we have sacred earth mother, which I feel is a very divine uh, connection also. But it's a message of love. It's like divine energy. But then over here, I feel like this person uh, is really examining their where they are in their life, what they've been through, you know, uh, really examining their inner self, their, you know, inner, I don't want to say demons, but their issues. It's almost like doing that shadow work, they call it, you know, dealing with your uh, issues <laughs> is... Uh, I guess the way you want to say it, so. All right, so Pisces, let's get some clarity around these cards. So why is Sacred Mother on this side, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. Five of Pentacles, so, you know, loss, feeling left out in the cold, abandoned and lost. But then we have an Ace of Pentacles here, which is a stable new beginning, divinely guided. And then the sun, happiness, joy, victory, success, and every there's that Leo energy. This could very well decide could be the other person. It could be they lost their job or, job or something like that, and then they found a new job, a divinely guided job or career, and now they're having success, happiness, joy, victory with the sun. Total happy energy here. I feel like, you know, they coming out of that energy there. Hmm. Okay, so let's see on this side over here, the King of Swords. Again, that's that truth, and that's the uh, Gemini. That's the Mercury energy there. So that's that truthful thinking um, kind of energy. Doing that self-reflection. Balancing themselves out, the Six of Pentacles energy. About balance. And then we have the Four of Swords. Yeah, somebody here resting, rejuvenating contemplating healing you know and the swords is all about the mind and thinking and clarity and truth and that kind of energy so that is you know that doing that reflection work like really thinking and working out your issues balancing yourself out taking that time to heal rest recuper recuperate rejuvenate this side over here definitely is trying to heal themselves kind of energy and finding their balance and this side here it might have might have been something to do with work. Maybe they lost a job or something, and then one comes in right after, divinely guided, and now they're very successful. Message of love. So again, I'm feeling with the Earth Mother is like that divine energy. Like here, here is your new beginning, divinely guided to you, and now they're very successful. So let's get another card for each side. And we have mental blockage. So I feel like even though this person is very successful now, uh, they're abundant, you know, they have, the, they have their new life, they're sti they still have mental blockages and entrapment, like stuck in their head about maybe, you know, if this is work, career, and other things, maybe when it comes to love and relationships, they're like mentally blocked from it, like they can't get out of their own head. Because they perceive love and relationships to be one way. But it's like not really... Maybe their past experiences um, made them believe that bad things about relationships. And so it keeps them in this mental blockage here about relationships in general. Hmm, oh boy. So what about this side over here? Seven of Pentacles. So, yeah, they've invested in themselves. Again, they invested in themselves. They did the work. They healed. Now they're just kind of waiting for the right time, you know, to go out into the world and start a new journey, whether it be um, in love or relationships or whatever. You know, they're planting the seeds of, like, their soul and really, you know, nourishing themselves, but waiting. They're waiting for the right time when they know it's the right time for them to journey into something new. They're really doing a lot of that reflection and deep healing work and balancing themselves out. But they're waiting for the right time to start 
you know, investing in someone else. They have to be fully invested in themselves before they can invest in somebody else. And I think they're almost there because they're at the seven. They're from the six. Okay, I'm balanced. Seven. I'm ready to start planting seeds and to start to grow and, and nourish with another person. But I'm not quite there yet, so I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. This person over here, I think, has everything in life. I think they have, have had like a new start. But when it comes to relationships, it's still blocked off in that area for some reason. So probably was from past experiences. Uh, again, with the jewel, jewel within a teardrop. Um, I really feel like this side has learned to appreciate um, things in life. And now uh, they have a, an emotional and spiritual like reconnection with themselves, people around them in general. This side, I think, is a little more trapped. But then we have the Wheel of Fortune here moving this along. Moving this along. So um, this is like how this would come together. This is Sagittarius season. Uh, if you don't know this person, maybe you just met them. Could be November, December of this year somehow. Um, could be in, could have been in the fall time or like in like November, December. You met them. Could have been outside somewhere because I do see the sun there and I see like outside energy here. So it could have been like outside somewhere you met them at like a public place or something, shopping or something like that. And uh, it was divinely guided here with the Wheel of Fortune. That's all about divine timing, something divinely guided, um, something meant to be, things going in a better direction. So I think this like this side is like, okay, or, yeah, I may be ready for this. And the other one's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still stuck in my head about the past. I perceive everything about what happened to me in the past. Five of Cups, yeah, the loneliness, sadness, hurt kind of energy felt from the past. I still still have mental blockages from that. Fiery, passionate communication, travel. It could be that you traveled or somebody traveled here or could travel. Maybe near water. Three of Swords, yeah, heart, heartbreak, sorrow, pain. I think this person has healed their pain on this side. They've healed it. This side is still stuck in pain of the past. Even though they moved on and they may have also, no, no, you know, this new beginning here could be, you know, a relationship they lost. But I got career um, energy with the pentacle there and the sun. Um, I feel like they're career wise, they're doing good, but <laughs> relationship wise, they're just stuck, stuck in energy here. But we do have this fiery, passionate energy in the middle here with the uh, wand energy, which is springtime. So if you met this person over, uh, let's say, November, December time or in the fall, um, I do see like communication in the spring. But we got these two energies here. So I don't know. Let's get more energy on this. Somebody is going to contact somebody. About, hey, let's go for a drink, whatever, but all well, the energy is there for that. Three wands, yeah, waiting, waiting. Somebody wants to, but they may not. They may be too stuck in their head, waiting. But then we have the fool here jumping in, taking a leap of faith. So I think finally there may be a time, you know, you may have met them in the fall or around November, December. Maybe you run into them again in the spring and they're like, oh, hey, you know, I remember you. And you get talking. And um, maybe it kicks off from there. So it may not, you may meet them once fall, like now, like you just did, or, you know, and you, then you may meet them again in the spring. And I think that's really going to um, kick things off here. So let's get, uh, they could be somebody that works in, uh, in the medical field uh, the law field, um, and the services, um, the justice uh, system or something like that. Chariot. So it's going to move forward now. Yep. A lot of drive, ambition, passion, balance, energy. I feel like it wasn't, if you just met them, it probably just wasn't the right time. But when you meet them again, it will be the right time, whether it's in the spring or the summer, or it could be spring into summer. 
I'm getting with the winter. It just wasn't a good time, like fall and the winter. If you meet them or if you just met them, just wasn't the right time. But I feel like spring into summer, you're going to run into them again. And then it's just going to like start and it's going to move forward very quickly here with the chariot. A lot of drive, ambition, and balance. Leaping in, taking that leap of faith. You got the sun back here. So now there's the sun on this side. So now it's going to go into that sun energy. Tower moment here. So two of pentacles. So, you know, tower, whoops, sorry, is about epiphanies and breakdown shocks. Um, you may think, you might thought that maybe you kind of like this person or you kind of like each other. You haven't met them yet and you may kind of like each other. Or if you kind of know them, you know, and you find you getting to like them may come as a shock or a surprise um, that you may be um, getting feelings for them. And then you may be juggling all this around like what the heck is going on here and the trying to <laughs> figure it out here with the judgment energy. Or, you know, this could be, you know, the loss that was over here and then getting something new divinely guided for you. Or the other person, however it resonates here, whatever they've been through, whatever tower moment they've been through, I think this person's good. They've healed. They've gotten their balance. They're almost ready, almost there. This side is good in life and other, all other areas except for when it comes to love and relationships. They're mentally trapped in that from something here. And I think that's all that tower energy. You know, juggling, this person has juggled, but now they found their balance. This person over here is still juggling too much in their head. That's why they're trapped in the Eight of Swords. But here's the um, angel brings the soulmates together. So like here's that divine energy resurrecting the soulmates, you know, making a final decision. Decision, Okay, all right, now let's give this a try. You know, it's maybe four or five, six months later, and now we're ready. Okay, let's give it a try, making that final judgment call decision here. You know, in the moon and the magician here, maybe not so sure, okay, how is this going to work? How is this going to move forward? You know, what do we do here? What steps do we take? Uh, not seeing things clearly, being a little confused. But knowing, you know, you do want to manifest this forward. This is a new beginning with the moon, uh, with the magician one. And there you go, sailing off into a better direction. The Six of Swords, peace, harmony, and balance, leaving all this other BS behind. Because what are you going to? You're sailing to the six of, to the Ace of Cups. Wow. <laughs> sailing to the Ace of Cups, right into it. Divinely guided, new beginning in love. Emotions are overflowing. Wow. Soulmate energy with the Ace of Cups there. Wow. Divinely guided, sailing into that Ace of Cups, manifesting this new beginning. Not sure, you know, how is this going to work out and go, but, you know, making that decision, you know, done juggling around all the crap of the past done with that so wow i mean for other signs here we do have aries scorpio cancer pisces gemini virgo uh let's see here leo there's that leo energy sagittarius uh cancer aquarius libra gemini aquarius so but the main energies there were uh, Leo and Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. So let's see here. I think, you know, Jewel within a teardrop, I think you both, you know, separately have shed a lot of cha uh, tears, but when you come together, it's like you finally found uh, that Jewel within one another. Wow. Okay. So let's get some extra messages for you, Pisces. Pisces. Did I call you Virgo before? If I did, I'm sorry. I just did Virgo. I don't know. I, for some reason, I'm thinking I just called you Virgo. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, Pisces. I do ask if you like how I read. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell. You won't miss out. I do a lot of readings a month. You can check out my channel. You like what you see. Feel uh, free to subscribe if you do. Thank you. To all those who supported the channel, However you supported me, it's truly appreciated. So thank you, thank you. So we have self-worth here, 32, which is five, change. So I think a lot of change, especially this side, really knowing their self-value, their worth, uh, making changes and healing in their life. This side here, uh, I think, still needs to change, you know, to get out of this mental blockage to know their self-value and their worth <coughs> and that they do deserve love and happiness. 
So and underneath we have understanding, 43, which is 7. And 7 can be, you know, very divinely guided spiritual number. So understanding, you know, it's time to make changes. It's time to heal. It's time to get out of mental blockages, understanding each other, the connection, moving forward, you know, the, that whole dynamic. So I do see a lot of good energy here. Once people come out of healing and mental blockages, then I think second time around will work. I don't think the first time was the right time. But I think the second time, second time is the charm, I guess. Okay, Pisces, so uh, best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.